Hello out there, we are on the air. I'm going to send out the path signal, uh, let people know that we are indeed live. Picking just the worst night for this, it being WrestleMania and all. I'm a notorious uh, wrestling fan, playing against uh, one of my best friends for the last 20 years, uh, who's also a notorious pro wrestling fan. So <laughs> if I didn't have to uh, work tomorrow, I would actually be at his house right now watching Wrestlemania. But instead, hey, doing uh, some of this. The mega powers explode. You think you're special? You do. I can see it in your eyes. Terrible, terrible wrestling jokes as we wait for things to get started. All right, I think we are good with the links. We'll do a quick sound check, make sure that my voice is actually coming through here. Check, check, check. All right. We are good for the goose. Hey, hey, Dean, welcome, welcome. We're about to get started. So, uh, first bit of business. I turned off uh, progressive fatigue because uh, it leads to the AI doing a bunch of stupid things, and we have to babysit our practice uh, reps and whatnot, which is a pain in the neck. Uh, I did leave practice injuries on, so unfortunately, guys, uh, we're just gonna randomly have people missing. I kind of like that. It adds a bit of RNG realism, like in real life, when I'm sure those of you that play fantasy or fans of uh, the NFL know that players will just like miss a week here or there because health reasons. So short story long, we are missing our middle linebacker, Isaiah Simmons, and we're missing Odell Beckham Jr., who is, uh, he's roster depth at this point. He isn't really even in our rotations. Let's take a look at the Seahawks. The roster uh, that largely built by my uh, good friend Mark in the offseason, our first uh, multi-user offseason, excited the entire uh, division. It's traded for a um, star dev QB that the... Uh, Kenneth Walker, up to a natural 90 superstar dev, nasty bit of business. DK Metcalf, Jackson Smith and Jigba, and Moses Randolph. So... Remember how I've mentioned a few times there's the arrives faster than expected uh, story that comes up in the Madden story generator in the offseason? The Seahawks got one of their fourth round picks to get that boost, which is a plus four speed and acceleration, uh, plus one to change of direction, and an increase in dev trait, and basically creating a uh, next gen Tyree kill. 22 year old 5'10, max speed, max excel, superstar X Factor. As a rookie, it's terrifying. So this uh, receiving trio, Tutu Atwell is no sludge either. Dangerous bit of business. Lots of good targets for uh, the young core back. Tom Rose, one of the tight ends I was looking for in the draft. Uh, sniper be sniping. Looks very solid. Uh, hidden dev there as well. Good speed in Excel. Take a look at the line. Definitely solid, uh, above average, not upper tier, but it'll be there in a few years, I take it. Some good pieces here on the D-line as well. It's a, it's a team that is rebuilding. Basically looks a lot like our roster did uh, this time last season. The corners are terrifying, so uh, Jiggles will have to be at it, bring out his A-game. Ooh, the whole secondary is full of beasts. Yep, lots of superstar uh, devs there. Jason Myers, the kicker. Michael Dixon, the punter. Pile of picks for this coming draft. Mark's done a fine job uh, keeping the futures there while definitely building a healthy nucleus of youth. So, without further ado, let us do it to it. Hopefully there are no uh, hiccups here. Hey, Mark, welcome, welcome. 
Oh, Seahawks in the house. Just in time. <clears throat> Talking you and your GMing skills up, because uh, I didn't even really realize it until I took a good look now, but uh, nasty team you have there. Especially with those draft picks. Moses Randolph looked like a beast. Plus a rivalry matchup to boot. We get to play each other twice every season. And we're here in Seattle. It's a battle of the birds. Mark saying, I'm expecting to be blown out. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if you saw week one. That was a bizarre week. I also have two players uh, injured. One of them being a starter, in fact. All right, putting the sticks down, picking the Pepsi up. Mark saying, I'd like to see something from my rookie LB. Do you remember his name? I don't offhand. And taking it up to the 26. Crawford will have to take it 74 yards to get the score. Dalvin Huntington. Thank you. Huntington. Cool. I mean, outside of those turnovers, uh, that was a pretty solid uh, week one for the second-year quarterback, getting really his first significant playing time. After the Packers extended Jordan Love, it uh, didn't really make sense to have him toiling away on the depth chart. Walker last week, 55 yards on 18 carries. Gain of one on his first carry of the day. Crawford gets it away. Just gets it a little bit out in front of the receiver, though. Third and nine. Not going to lie, Mark, uh, I'm kind of... Kind of hoping for a big third stand here. Oh, and the Patriots picking up a W. 21 to 11. Uh-oh. And broken up by DeMar Hamlin. Looking for the home run shot was Crawford there. So it's a three and out, but a terrifying three and out. Defensive pass interference, says Mark. <laughs> that, was, that was clean. Swatted that thing away like Dikembe Mutombo. Solid field position, and we'll see the first look of our offense so far today. As you see, the anemic numbers that Jiggles put up through the air last week. Swatted my player away, maybe, says Mark. Uh, good comeback. I, I, I don't have anything for that. Oh, and Tiny, gain of only one, tackled promptly as he reached the line of scrimmage. Tiny was a uh, fourth round pick in the initial off season of 2024, this being the 2025 season. And checks it down to Jelani Woods, who saw a surprising amount of work last week. A quick security blanket uh, for Jiggles early on in the season. But obviously an insanely small sample size. Oh, it's the read option. And Jiggles picks up the first down and some change. 14 yards on the ground. Up to uh, the Seahawks, 42 here. Bears being the Bengals. The Bengals start out 0-2. Oh, and Jiggles going for the read option again. Gain of five that time. I don't love that uh, our playbook has that play so much, but it wouldn't make sense to change it with the early success. Speaking of pass interference, explain your squad here, Mark. Third and five, just on the fringes of field goal range. I would not want to be picking from here. Uh-oh. Oh, Jiggles gets it away. And finding Woods again. And it must be the defenses are not covering him at all. Getting the first down. Jingles is a bit of a wild boy with some of these looks here, but hey, if it breeds success, I don't mind. Oh, Tiny. 
getting stuck on a blocker, but cutting up. Salvaging a bit on that run. Gain of three. Up to the Seahawks' nine. Second and seven. Landon's here. Don't think I missed much. No, not really. This is uh, only the second series of the game. Tiny just shy of the first down marker. Third and one. And Leon Clark out here. Big set. Looks like two tight ends. Oh. It was a ploy. And to a wide open Zach Ertz. Old man sports for sure. The veteran. And this is a year from where we are in real life. Back on the Cardinals and getting an easy touchdown. They definitely sold out for the run there. Kind of smart. We had the uh, the big power back package with uh, Rick O'Shea in there. Dicker out here for the kick. And I'm happy with the results so far. An early 7-0 lead. There was nothing overly sexy or attractive about how we did it. Just solid, fundamental football and some very bizarre no-look passes by Jiggles that are working today so far. Nice gang tackling there. Seahawks back at their own 21. We'll have to make it 79 yards to reach the house. Shotgun formation. One backfield in there. Looks like a bunch tight. How is the Seattle team? Hey, Corey. Welcome, welcome. Sorry about that other league, man. Um, I had a very, very busy weekend, and I, I just don't think I have the time to keep up with that pace. Those guys, those guys are doing this thing serious business. And more power to them. I tip my hat. First down. Uh, Mark has built a nice squad, but they are rebuilding. Oh, yeah. Like, I definitely could not keep up that pace. <laughs> I, I looked on the Discord and it's like, oh, every day? Dang. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Michael brought me some uh, streaming slash party supplies. Oh, gate of six. Crawford's second completion of the day. He's looking a little more confident here on uh, the second um, possession for the team. Hamlin on the tackle. Damar Hamlin. Uh, Project Hamlin, I guess. The uh, My whole argument against the awareness rating, how it's a vanity rating. Uh, so far proving me right. Definitely confirmation bias happening here. We will see how the experiment plays out, but... Uh, He's looking like one of the best players on the team in the live sim, at least. I'm sure if we were just doing calendar stuff, he'd be garbage. Gain of three, Kenneth Walker kind of hung up. I'm kind of glad he didn't stay in it. It's a bunch of young kids that are kind of... <laughs> kind of word I probably shouldn't say since I'm uploading on YouTube later. Figured they would uh, get on your nerves very quickly. You know what? I'm, I'm patient tolerant. Also, I was young once and kind of a jerk <laughs> at times. Mark can attest to that, the GM of these Sonics, and uh, taking a dip out of our playbook, read option first down for Tyler Crawford. He's looking good this uh, series, and completion again. Is that the rookie? Yes, Moses Randolph. Definitely the uh, featured guy for me today. I want to see what Randolph brings to the table here. Randolph basically looks like a rookie Tyreek Hill. Max Speed and Excel, and he's uh, an X-Factor out of the jump after the storyline generator. And they are well in field goal range, basically red zone here. 25, uh, well, to the 23. Walker's moving faster than I can talk here. Don't like throwing to triple coverage, but love the result. <laughs> Respect there, Mark. Respect. Oh, Dan Brian Danielson was just lurking there, looking to get the interception. Unsuccessful. Hands of stone like rugged Ronnie Garvin. How many pro wrestling references can I cram into uh, WrestleMania Night 2? Oh, he's taken off. He's a little tricky boy. Going all the way to the end zone. Touchdown Seahawks. Tyler Crawford decides he's going to do it on his own. And we have a game of the scrambly white boys here. Mark, that trade's looking like a uh, definite W. Look at that vision. With 63 zone, I'm uh, going to nerv nervous if I ever... Oh. With 63 zone, I'm going to be nervous if I ever, ever out him out on the field. 
which I know I have to with him being a superstar. Oh, fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. Love his rushing ability, says Mark. Yeah. There's a post before that one. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Thoughts happening in the chat, and I'm forgetting to call some of the play. Tiny taking it out of the end zone. It was the wrong decision. You lost two yards doing it that way, Tiny. Just trying to rack up hollow XP with those return yards, aren't you? Yeah, little dirty boy. Jiggles. Passes, finds O'Shea. Oh, who has a nice bit of a burst there. Turning what would have been a tackle for loss into a first down. I'll roll uh, with him since you said awareness isn't an issue, lol. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, it. I'm sure it is at times, but I feel like in the slow sim, it really doesn't do much. Like, all the other attributes have a distinct purpose. Awareness is so vague. And come on, guys, this is EA. I don't trust them to actually have varying player IQ. They can barely get tendencies in the game. How important is play rec? No, play rec is important, I think. I, I have noticed a difference with low play rec guys, for sure. Awareness is the only one that I, I question if it means anything, other than getting, like, poor athletes that are so-so into good overall, so they start. Um, 2K has a rating like that. They, their version is intangibles. Whereas in 2K, offense and defense awareness, I find, does matter a fair bit more. And the scrambling QBs this game... Jiggles refuses to dive, and I don't love that about him. He does fumble about every other game, and those are costly. Game benches, you know? We're here nearing the end of the first quarter. It's 7-7. Seven to seven. Very, very even. And Austin Eckler getting a rare carry. Jiggles is a dog, says Landon. I think that's Eckler's first action this season uh, for us. Pick him up in free agency. Oh, Jiggles airing it out. And it's broken up. Looking for Jamison Williams in the end zone. Witherspoon breaks it up. Last thing about that other league, it was wild for me how talented that team you took over was, but they had a 1-8 record. LMA LeMeo, yes, that was wild. Oh, Woods with a terrible, costly drop there. And it'll bring out the kicking team. Maybe? This is far. Kicking from the logo. I hate this. This could be a miss. Dicker's game. He's going for it. And it is indeed wide right, I would say. That stinks. When will the Arizona Texans game take place? Oh, we are week three. So we're going to do the advance tonight. Um, if you're cool with the Corey, I'll stream that uh, one tomorrow. Because... Uh, would you prefer they go for it or punt there? Oh, yeah, good call, Mark. That's that's a tough one. Hindsight 2020, obviously, punts hope they pin it. Because you started at midfield. You're basically where I just kicked the ball after one carry. Oh, <laughs> all good there, Corey. Um, if you're down for it, uh, I can stream tomorrow. Um, I was kind of hoping to. I basically have my weekend starting tomorrow at 3 Eastern. Oh, yay, more sim for me tomorrow. Yes, I'm. the advance will be um, either tonight around midnight when I... Well, midnight when I go to bed, um, or I will, depending, I'll check with the other uh, GMs. It's an interception! Tip drill! And a big pick by the rookie, Tayshawn Leonard. We got to see a replay of this. Sorry, guys. What a play. The second-year player, Crawford, airing it out, looking for a home run. So we got to see. It, Leonard didn't have the initial coverage. It was tipped by Hamlin and Leonard there on the recovery. No, no, that wasn't Crawford's fault. That wasn't the receiver's fault. That was just, honestly, some really good luck and a cool-ass play. <laughs> Pass interference, enough. Will you be serious? But anyway, short story long, guys. The advance will be um, 
for sure in the next nine hours. So by the time most of you wake up tomorrow, we'll be uh, good to go. Oh no, um, we do see it in, in this game, although you usually can tell it'll get called by the animation. Bernard with a big sack. No pause. So third and 13, long conversion here. Big play coming up. They're all big plays. And a screen pass? Not even to the receiving back. Gain of two. Don't love that call, and we're punting. So there we go. I get to see my beloved punt team. OP McAfee with the kick. Back to another 25, brought out to the 33. Seattle's defense stood tall there. That sack was huge. Oh my god. There's no way to not sound dirty saying some of this stuff. And Walker pushed himself forward, getting six on that first carry. Swerve Garnett seeing his first uh, game of action. He suffered an injury, unfortunately, in practice in week one. So this is his uh, NFL regular season debut. Owen Popo and Troy Anderson combining on the tackle. Gain of only one. Third and three. Come on, fellas. Big stop. Big stop. And first down. That was not a big stop. Shaq Barrett uh, getting the start today with Isaiah Simmons' injury on the tackle. Got some old men, the veteran presence. First and ten. Fresh set of downs. And Garnett. Stock and Walker there gets the tackle. Talking a little smack. Nice, Corey and Landon talking about their game. We have multiple GMs in the house tonight. The Chargers and Texans had a real ring-a-ding-dong dandy earlier in the week. Really love that you guys are participating, making this so much better than it started out as just me basically playing franchise mode by myself. All right, come on, fellas. Third and eight, midfield, big stop time. Let's do this. Don't let him run. Oh, Popo makes him think about it, though. Big hit, but... I think you got yourself a winner here, Mark. Crawford has good instincts on when to run, when not to run. He's not done any stupid things yet. Oh, Walker breaks a nice run, 10 yards plus, up to our 29. What did I focus on my defense uh, this week? I went uh, short pass. <laughs> That's what they should be stopping. Gain of seven. Tackle by Wakabayashi. I was panicking the last two possessions. Yeah, you guys had a wild one. I uh, Thank you for posting the link, by the way. I caught that uh, after the fact. Oh, knocked out. What a play by Data. Or, no, by uh, Brian Danielson. I got my two white defenders confused. A third sometimes when Troy Anderson's out there, which is too many and possibly finable. Another first down. Surgical precision. Pulling the former Seahawk. Wondering if uh, he missed out on something special with this team. Okay, that's, that's good. Crawford saw Snoop coming down. Panicked a bit, just threw it. I'm okay with that. Let's uh, let's force some incompletions. Let's make some mistakes for Seattle. Or give up a touchdown. That's DK Metcalf. Do your players ever get neg negative fatigue when you simulate your training with progressive fatigue turned off? I don't believe so. I've, if it happens, I've never noticed, to be honest. Kick return TD inbound. Hey, Joey. <laughs> Mark is pleased by the drive by his players. I would be too. Honestly, they marched down the th field three times very successfully outside of that one pick. I'm humbled so many of you guys came tonight. Uh, Especially with it being peak, uh, who took that return? 
I'm genuinely confused who carried the ball there. Ricochet out there. Oh, wow. Only one yard on the carry. Stuffed. Quarter way close enough. Ah. Oh, Jiggles finds Brandon Ayuk. And Brandon Ayuk with a big catch, taking it all the way down to the Seattle 21. We're in the red zone now. Nice job, fellas. Oh, Corey was just wondering. He's used to having to rotate uh, the pads in practice. I think it's good, although since you probably... Um, uh, you have the most experience, I would guess, with these things. If you notice anything weird, please let me know. The one thing I, I do like about how it's set up now is it, it will keep the AI using their proper players, because we do have CPU teams. I'm so terrified he's going to fumble every time. First down, first and goal on the six. It's good. My heart's in my throat every time he does one of those carries. But yeah, if you see anything weird, we can always pivot on the fly. Just as long as we're making it fair for any, everyone, that's all I genuinely care about. Oh, no. The read option was read like a book. Loss of four. As we near the two-minute warning. Second and ten, second and goal. Out of bounds. Not good. Massive play coming up here. And the defense was screaming at him. Jiggles had to throw it. Crutchfield, the rookie. I don't love this, guys. The Seahawks are playing real well here. That Also, that missed field goal earlier definitely hurts things. Dicker good that time. I do not hold his miss, whatever, 58-yarder against him, though. Jeez. That was absurd. I like that IU got involved before the second half this week, too. That's nice. So it'll be a two-minute drill for Tyler Crawford. DK Metcalf, two catches, 25, and a score. And Walker... Gains four, brought down. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. Beautiful shot of, uh, honestly, I forget the stadium here in Seattle. Anything new scouting-wise for week three? Yes, indeed, Landon. Uh, I mean, it's related to picking the scouts. You will select their region for the regional scouts. The national scout you select in, I believe, week seven. Also, uh, not just scouting related, the re-sign phase begins. So if you have any expiring contracts, now's your time to extend them to uh, fancy new longer deals. So week three is important from a GM standpoint. Not that they all aren't, it's more important. There we go. I would have liked that. Joey's saying pick six, stop letting him run. Like, after the fourth time, maybe QB spy the man. Nice. Breaks up the pass. But he's under 50% throwing. He's just getting them when they count. And he's playing well. It's enough. The numbers aren't fancy, but it's productive. I shouldn't be critical of someone who's kicking my ass. Third and ten. Let's go, boys. Big stand. Keep a little time on the clock. Empty backfield. Looks like they got five wide here. He's throwing. Incomplete. Right at midfield. You know what? The nice thing is, Mark, you can't really teach speed too much, but you can definitely upgrade that boy's accuracy, and he will be a weapon for years to come for you, I think. Oh, I didn't even notice Jets lost, Joey. Ooh, that... It was kind of a lousy punt. I will take it. Punt of only 23 and kicking it out of bounds. 
So 46 seconds, please go for... Oh, they're going to run. They're just going to run out the clock. No, never mind. What are you doing? Oh, just still a 73 overall. Yeah, hey, that's higher than Jiggles was uh, last year when he started. It was a 71 out of the draft. And maybe stop looking like a Jigs. What is this? And call a timeout. It, what? What is this play call? He is sometimes the airmail man. He's young too. He'll develop. Nice, nice pass to Jameson Williams though. Up to the 48. Okay. One timeout left. So the management is interesting here. Go out of bounds. Go out of bounds. Good job, Woods. Gain of five. Incomplete. Looking for Woods again. And we're not in field goal range, so, like, we need yards here. Oh, we need yards and then some. Nice job, Woods. Running out of bounds. Like, absolutely an afterthought, a panic move for a tight end, and I kind of love this guy. How does he have six receptions? Let's make it seven. And looks like it'll be kick or be kicking. Four seconds left. I feel like that's too much time and there will be a kickoff return for no good reason. Close and expected. You're winning, my guy closer than I expected. Come on, Mark. <laughs> yep, left one second on the clock. Please just tackle him. Thank you. So I'll take us into half. So a one-point game. Expect to be down 14. You know what, dude? I, My team, I feel like I have a, a nice nucleus, but they, they're not there. Like, I feel like a year away from maybe bringing a ruckus. All right, we do get the ball to start the second half. Up to 100 passing yards. Good, so I think I topped last week. Oh, 100 more. And Ayuk takes it all the way up to midfield. You know what? You probably have more running yards because uh, Chambers, Chambers, Crawford is a nasty boy. Ah, I wish I hadn't hit X there. That was a nice angle on a replay for once. And Jameson Williams. Gain of eight. Ooh, I didn't realize Ayuk's X Factor is activated, and I'm not actually sure what it is. It might be double me. It's the read option. Jiggles up to nearly 50 yards on the ground himself today. The slam tackle animation is hilarious. It, yeah, it looks like the Arn Anderson spine buster sometimes. And finding Woods. And I think that will maybe deactivate Ayuk, which is unfortunate, but uh, I care less. Oh, no, it doesn't. I care less about that than I do about getting these dubs. And that first down is key. Oh, tiny. I think that's a loss of two on that play. Second and goal on the 12. Empty backfield. Surprising. And Jiggles just throws it to get, avoid the sack. Smart man. Live to fight another day. Woods is a big guy for receiver. Well, he's a tight end and he's 6'7". He's also only a 74, but I can't believe he gets so open. He doesn't have great speed or anything. It's a screen! 
to Ice Bear Wyndham, but he's stopped on the one-yard line. Let's see what the team does. Do they go for it here? Or do they kick? They will kick the field goal. Take the uh, change of lead instead of uh, going for the big blow. I kind of like it. It, it. That was close. Addy, welcome! I'm doing well. I, thank you for coming, my man. Um, to fill you in on things, all the players I drafted in the first year I named after people in our fantasy football pool. Uh, you and Jimbo combine the name of our fullback, Jimbo Jane. Oh, you're in Australia now. Excellent. I hope that is going wonderfully for you. How, how long have you been there? I have many, many questions. <laughs> and I need to be careful. Tyler Crawford uh, giving me the business. Finding rookie um, tight end. I think it's Tom Ford, or is that just a cologne brand? Midterm break. Ah, you've been here for, there for six weeks. Fascinating. Right, the seasons are slightly different, so it makes sense the school year is different, too. Tyreek Woolen on the tackle. Tom Rose, not Tom Ford. Thank you, Mark. Finally got free enough to watch videos and stuff. Well, I'm glad you made some time on, I would assume, Sunday night, but you might be in the future. Maybe it's Monday morning for you. Glad you're making a little bit of time out of your life for uh, this. And first down to the rookie, Moses Randolph. Monday morning, 10.25 a.m. Fair. Oh, K9 cuts, and he's brought down before the first down marker. Gain of eight. I do normally stream when you sleep. That's fair. I've been doing the uh, Ontario early evening ones a lot more lately, so uh, makes sense. Oh, big sack, no pause, by Chase Young. Our first time bringing down Crawford in the backfield today. Loss of seven on the play, and that could not have come at a bigger time. Pardon me, loss of nine. 2024's Defensive Player of the Year. With, I think, his third sack of the season. I mean, we're in the middle of the second game, so that's not like he's falling behind too much, you know? And I think Crawford is a little shook. I assume the punt team comes out. Okay, I'm feeling a little better in this second half so far. Oh, that's a much better punt than the earlier one. And it's a fair catch at the 12. That'll bring Jiggles, Jake Taylor back out with the rest of the Cardinals offense here. Oh, Addy, uh, just a little update. I, I know everyone else in the chat's aware. In fact, most of them are using other teams. But there's connected franchise in Madden, so um, we have nine user GMs in this league. So it's a half like a data thing, but also other people are contributing. And I'm literally playing one of my uh, best friends of the last 20 years right now. We aren't controlling the teams, but we put them together. And Tiny Stolar's the fifth with the catch, the first down, and a sweet little spin, juke, and jive to get a few extra yards on the uh, catch. Our backfield platoon has not seen a ton of action, but they've done what they came to do. Yeah, I'm a big fan of it. I wish NHL would uh, adopt something like this. I wish the show would bring it back properly. First down to Jameson Williams. Jiggles getting him right square in the number. And Jiggles' X-Factor is activated now. Uh, his is the Gambit one, which means the computer cannot intercept him. While it's activated, at least. Oh, what a throw. What a catch by Ice Bear Wyndham, the third-round rookie. I need to see a replay of this toe tap. Okay, they didn't want to give it to me. You don't want to give me anything, do you? It's still CPU versus CPU at the moment, though, right? Yes. Yeah, um, well, the neat thing about it being football, there's 17 games. Touchdown, Cardinals! Jelani Woods, his first for the team since joining. Oh, oh, break them legs, break them legs. Well, happy to be of service, my man. Clean route by that Colossus. 
Thank you, Mark. And you know what? Um, Jiggles was pretty rough in the passing game last year, but a season of upgrading the improviser archetype did wonders for him. Also, last week, he looked like hot garbage. So there's still some inconsistency. He could uh, go back to throwing picks hither and yon uh, as the game progresses. A nine-point lead, which is to score. Oh, no. Moses nearly broke out. That man is terrifying as your kick returner. You are going to break a few of those. Your line is buying you so much time. Oh, yeah, I... I put heavy, heavy investment into the line um, in developing. Oh, and K9 breaks a huge run. Thankfully, the rookie Swerve Garnett on the tackle, the last line of defense, or else he would have found the end zone. But they're on our side of the field, 40 yards away, just on the cusp of field goal range here. These Seahawks are fighting hard. And they got a lot of big play players. There we are, Lobo Hobbs on the tackle, stopping him at the line of scrimmage. Good job, Hobbsy. Empty backfield. Looks like a bunch offset. Oh, that's a nice route. First down. Finding DK Metcalf. Whatever that play was, that man, that's a good ass. Can sack the game for the boys. And go to check down business. Nothing wrong with that. Finding DK Metcalf for the fourth time today. Second time on this drive alone. Third and nine now. They are in field goal range. So, And a first down. That's big for them. Tom Rose is hurt, though. And it looks like it's his leg. Watch. Next week, Mark has him out for a week with a sprained wrist. Len, I was going to try and trade for JSN, but I couldn't create a trade that would make sense for both teams. I'm so happy you guys are communicating with each other. Nice. Since, um, as of 3 tomorrow, I am off for a couple days, I will get our Discord channel fixed up and the rules and everything, and we'll at least allow some trades and stuff before the deadline, hopefully. I'm going to watch this for an hour before uh, the Dallas and Avs game. Oh, nice. Thank you, Addy. It probably won't take that long. Haven't watched hockey in like two months. Oh, hey, you're right in time. It's like 11 days till the playoffs start, bud. Well, they get the snap off. We're going to head to the fourth quarter. Third and six. 11 yards away for the Seahawks. This is a big possession here. How do we have 300 passing yards? What, honestly, when did that happen? Going to be following the first round intently. Nice. And a big sack there. Who was that? That's Hobbsy! Lobo Hobbs with the sack. Every pass I make goes for 25. I guess so, Mark. So, like, it hasn't been a lot of uh, passing plays. They just are big chunks. And that is a big, big stop there. They still will most likely put three on the board. Indeed, they will. Making this a one-possession game. And terrifying. But I like that we bent. We did not break. And regardless of the result here, Mark, I'm thrilled with how my team's playing. I think you should be thrilled with how your team's playing. This has been a lot more fun than that uh, just festival of garbage against the Bengals week one. Addy, it's nice, though. Yesterday I watched the first two episodes of the Expos Data Series. Very nice. Oh, Tiny. Tried to break 12 yards on six carries today. Well, yeah, dude, you move halfway across the world and start a new school and have to get caught up on a lot of things. You're going to fall behind on a few things. I can see that. Oh! Jiggles actually tried to get that pass to go. Pass the diving, I assume Jelani Woods, because they're just best friends now. Third and ten. And immediately just sacked, just destroyed, dominated. The offensive line fell apart. I assume you're going to decline. 
So wait, 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 wait. We committed a holding penalty and still allowed Seattle to dominate through the line like that? Huge three and out for the Seahawks there. And it'll be a fair catch back at their own 34. Dangerous. Big things cooking. 66 yards away from the house. Ten minutes left in the game. Only a six-point game here. It's a handoff to Walker. First pressure they've gotten all game. Well, hey, I'm trying to weave a story here, man. And come on, you should be proud. That was a big stop. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not mad at my team. I just... It's funny. That's They commit a penalty on the worst they looked all game. It's like your D-line just took all the steroids at once or the Michael Jordan water from Space Jam. Because, yeah, a nice topical 25-year-old movie reference. Everyone will get that. Hey, looks like not Ford. Wood? Rose. Tom Rose. Back in the game, making big plays. That's like a 20, 25-yard reception. Took multiple guys to take him down. Or maybe it was DeMar Hamlin after a few guys failed. Your playbook's got some nice uh, stuff where the receivers are bunched up and all separated in different directions. I really dig some of these uh, formations your guys are bringing. And it's field goal range already near in the red zone. Welcome to the red zone. Second and eight on the 25. Swerve Barrett, his... I feel like he's had more than two tackles. Maybe some of those are combos. Crawford in the shotgun. He's running and throwing. Oh, and Danielson leveling Jackson Smith and Jigba. He held on to the ball, though. Third and one. Empty backfield. Fascinating. You'd think they might tease play action or something this close to the line or try and punch it. I'm very surprised now. Oh, yeah. Things on the server are good. But he got speared. He did. They're going for it. Fourth and one. I love this. High drama. Give it to me. I don't love it because it worked. Converting on fourth down. Mark, your guys brought it. Is this their home opener? Were you on the road last week, do you know? And Moses is brought down on the three-yard line, second and two. Oh, no, you were at home last week? Fair. Lost at home week one. Ah, well, on the three-yard line, I assume it's going to K-9. It is. And he is brought down by a combination of Cardinals. And I think what happened is Charles Cross got injured by Snoop on the play, and that's why his block got just blown up so easily. That does make some sense. So a loss of one. And... I think it's a tie game now. Touchdown Seahawks. DK Metcalf for the second time today. Very nice throw. And a good possession catch. Just taking the knees. Taking the points. And with the extra point, they will go ahead by one. Well, six minutes, 22 seconds to answer back. Can the Seahawks pick up their first W of the season? Will we take our first loss? They have nearly full momentum in the Madden Momentum meter. I love this pronouncing momentum. Right up to the 25. Didn't help at all. Oh, Steelers and Browns tied at 28 in the fourth quarter. So there's some drama league-wide here. Do we need to ask Chuck Norris for a mighty puff of wind? <laughs> Oh, I appreciate you, Joey, trying to cheat. If we're not cheating, we're not trying, you know. It's the read option. Jiggles. Oh, Jiggles breaking a tackle. I think he took that for about 25 yards up to midfield. And he did a little Eddie Guerrero slap in the chest. Viva la Rosa, S.A. I am way too white and Canadian to be saying that ever. Sorry, guys. And he lost his X-Factor. I, I assume that... By getting tackled. The read option again, and it works again. Nine-yard gain. 
Jiggles up to 87 yards on the ground. Every Arizona play gets 25 plus. You wouldn't be winning if they all worked that well, though, bud. Like, you guys have come up big. Oh, God, it looks like Tiny broke his right knee there. How is he my worst runner? He was so good last year. It's like whoever's in my halfback one slot just fails. Uh-oh. Wow, that was nearly a tip drill interception on uh, the other end for Seattle. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, and Jiggles brought down. Loss of uh, five. Oh, Ricochet, yes, indeed. So he just kind of had a brain freeze and got caught up on his own blocker, and they went down in a heap. Tough. Will you stop it? Wow, that was pretty much a worst-case scenario. Went from field goal range, took two straight sacks on two terrible... And what is that punt? If you kicked it out of the end zone, they'd be further away. Choke, choke, choke. That's what we're doing right now. And Crawford and Walker, they can just run the clock out now. Gain of two. And that's going to kill 45 seconds. Hamlin with the tackle. Doesn't really matter. That'll basically take us down to the two-minute warning. Third and four. We basically need the stop now or they're going to keep burning clock. And, oh my gosh, thank goodness, we get it. DJ Reader on the sack. Forcing a three and out that takes nearly two full minutes of clock up. And we will have to make it 76 yards in one minute, 53 seconds. The goal is at least to get a field goal and not get sacked twice when you're already in field goal range to cost it. Jiggles. Is this Taylor's version of offense? Yes, it is, and it's gorgeous. Oh, finding tiny Stolars on the wheel route. That tackle was huge, right, Mark? Like, our defensive line have come up with some massive plays. Yes, oh, right, on the return. What are you doing, Jiggles? What is the rush? Right at midfield, 50-yard line exactly. 87 seconds remain in this game. Second and 10. Interception. I'm going to assume this will probably ice it unless we, like, we have to get a three and out, and even then, it's unlikely now. Oh, yeah, it is over. Will Walker go down anytime? My God. He throws like one a game. It's weird. He's, uh, he's mostly good, but... And Data with the tackle, but it's another first down. That's it. We're out of um, timeouts. They can just kneel it out here. <laughs> I think what they're going to do is they're going to chew the clock incorrectly and might end up kicking a field goal. Well, Mark, handshake to you. GG, you won our WrestleMania main event, my man. Congrats. Looks like we're going to fall to one and one. There'll be a stern talking to in the locker room. I, I'm surprised, not fully shocked, but honestly, that was kind of a classic. I, As frustrating as it was for me, and as the play-by-play -play man, obviously the bias is coming through. 
That is a great win for your guys. They came up huge multiple times. Clutch interception, clutch sacks. Who do I have next? I take on Corey and the Texans next week. Uh, and I will most likely be streaming that game tomorrow. Uh, I forget if data streams tomorrow or not. So we'll have a look at the QB stats. Jiggles went 23 of 35 for 354. Two touchdowns and interception on his last throw of the day. Tyler Crawford, 19 of 32 for 171. Two touchdowns, one interception. That interception being a tip drill, not his fault. Kenneth Walker, 25 carries, 129 yards. Beastly performance. Jake Taylor, 8 for 87. Crawford, 7 for 70 and a touchdown. Tiny, 7 for 14. Austin Eckler, 1 for 4. And Ricochet, 1 for 1. So, geez, our quarterback had half our carries. In the receiving game, we will do both teams, but separately. Jelani Woods, 9 for 118 and a score. Brandon Ayuk, 2 for 83. James Williams, 3 for 52. Ice Bear Wyndham, 2 for 38. Tiny let you down. He has let me down. Texans don't go down easy. Good luck. Thank you. And the rest, Zach Ertz getting a uh, touchdown, which was nice. Paying some respect uh, to my boy Mark. His receiving stats, 4 for 53 for Tom Rose. DK Metcalf, two touchdowns on his six catches, 50 yards. Moses Randolph, 3 for 33. He is going to get used more as time goes on and is a weapon to be sure. Who got that interception? JP Williams, get that man a can of Coke. And Terrell Bernard had two of your four sacks on the day. For our boys... Reader, Lindsey, Young, and Hobbs, all four of our defensive linemen coming through. And Tayshawn Leonard, his first career interception. Also, coming back to haunt us, Dicker with the missed, uh, like, 58-yard field goal or something. Does it actually say what it was? It doesn't. We needed those points. Bernard has been an early season success story. Good to know. I look forward to you coming into our house the next time. I think we play uh, Week 18 which might have playoff implica implications for one or both of us. Nothing for DH74. Ah, they can't all be winners, man. I had a few guys uh, put up some big old goose eggs on the score sheet there. I can't believe Woods has been so good. It's so weird. He's probably my top receiver through two games. Oh, um, since Landon was asking, when is week three? I'm going to do the advance um, either before bed or before I head out tomorrow. So what time is it right now? It'll be in the next nine hours. For sure. Potentially the next, like, four. We'll see. <laughs> um, but... I'll head into the scouting thing. If you go into the scouting screen, hit triangle for key info, it'll let you know all the important weeks for scouting stuff. So the next advance, uh, that's where you will choose the focus for your area scouts. To do that, you go into region breakdown, and with each region where it has the lock here, you will then set your uh, focus scouting with that scout for the position. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, I highly recommend CB Gaming's scouting video. He put it out about a month ago. It's data level good in the amount of detail it goes to. If it's your first time playing Madden, if it's your 20th time playing Madden, there's something in there you're going to find that is going to be good for you. I Highest possible recommendation. It's also long as hell, but he breaks up into chapters, so you can get the key info when you need it instead of having to take it all in in like a movie length chunk. So, I mean, that's basically it, because I'm not going to advance uh, beyond there. Take a look at the uh, league leaders right now. Well, because only three uh, week two games have gone through, but hey, Jiggles is third in the league in passing yards. Yay. Oh, my God, he's second in the league in rushing? That's absurd. <laughs> and our former... Yeah, obviously biased, because... Uh, Six teams have played twice as many games as any others. <laughs> Jelani Woods, third in the league in receiving. That won't last. 
Well, take care, guys. I will most likely be back tomorrow. I'm, I'll have to check. If Data doesn't stream tomorrow, it'll be... You know, I, I might still do, like, a dinner time thing, like, five or six. We'll see. You could have been anywhere else. Thank you, Addy, and best of luck to you in your new continent and uh, new situations altogether. Hope you can join, join any time. Oh, yes, Herbert is number two. And uh, I do have past streams uploaded on my YouTube channel uh, for anyone interested in that. You guys could have been anywhere else in the world. You chose to spend it with me, with us. Mark was here. His team won the game. What a stud. He is a tiebreaker in a potential playoff scenario. Terrified. You chose to spend it with us. We appreciate that. The Cardinals appreciate that. We'll be back tomorrow with the next one. Take care.